Hey everybody, hope you're all having a good day today, at least as far as Mondays go. You are about to watch an open mic performance I did at Skinny J's in downtown Jonesboro just last night. In fact, as of this recording, it was only like uh, about an hour ago. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, it was the first time any of comedians had this open mic at Skinny J's and it's going to be monthly. And uh, I'm super excited about it. Uh, as far as my performance itself, I thought that it was just kind of... It's going to be a little bit lackluster, uh, you know, and that's that's part of how it goes. It took the audience a little while to warm up to the fact that there was an open mic going on, and I was first, so um, I tried to get that going. But what I did, I did a couple of things Bryce thinks about from the past, a couple of uh, the most recent BAM News stories, and uh, Life Sucks and I Don't Like It. And the audience was with me on Life Sucks and I Don't Like It. They were saying it with me, and uh, they finished the last one as I've had them do in the past. So, um... Overall, all things considered, it actually went mostly well. There were some issued spots, and there, uh, you know, some errors on my part as well. But uh, you know, overall, not bad for the first time there. And it ended, it ended up being a really good mic. Um, yeah, but uh, it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what my opinion is. I want to know what you think. Talk to me down in the comment section below. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Uh, <clears throat> You know, all that kind of good stuff. As usual, there are no added laugh tracks. The only thing I'm going to do is run it through a filter in GarageBand and make sure it's nice and clear and easy to understand and all of that. And uh, I believe that is all that I have for you. So, enjoy the show! I'm going to have to find Alan Moore. They said, I wonder if they measure horses in engine power. <laughs> and then that thought just died. Now I told you, so you can ponder it with me. Sometimes it comes from the news. You ever watch the news? Or read the news? Find some interesting stuff in there? Uh, I was reading the news, and it, it was last week. There was this guy, he's an anonymous 22-year-old man in Manhattan ate an entire jar of cheese balls at Union Square Park in Manhattan. And hundreds of people gathered to watch him. Is this what passes for entertainment nowadays? Is that all you have to do? Because between, between this guy and Taylor Swift, I'm working way too hard. <laughs> what? Are you, are you a Swifty? <laughs> There's always one. I'm sorry, Swifties. Not really, though. Uh, another news story last week. I found out that in uh, Sykeson, Missouri, parents can now safely deposit their children and infant child into this baby box safe haven at the new fire station. But the infant must be 45 days old or younger because that's when the warranty wears out on newborn children. <laughs> I don't know what they do if it's 46 days. I know I wouldn't stick around to say, my kid's 46, but take it anyway. You know. I wouldn't do that. Uh, another one that happened. Sometimes things just happen to me, y'all. I went to Sonic, and I had ordered a Sonic Blast with extra Reese's Cups crumbled up in it. You know what they gave me? A Sonic Blast with extra Sonic Cups crumbled up in it. <laughs> Ice cream's not supposed to be chewy. I'm a fat man, I'm a connoisseur, if you will. It's not supposed to be. I'd like to try one more thing with you. This involves some audience participation, because I'd like to bring this energy up just a little bit. Do, are we in for it? Can we, can we participate in something? Can we participate in jokes? A few of us can. Okay, we're going to try it anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you when to help me. So, uh, growing up, nobody ever tells you about certain things in life, you know? They don't tell you about things like malicious intent. They don't tell you there's going to be scammers out there. 
that are going to try to sell you some computer program because they're going to call you and say there's a virus on your computer that's stealing your personal information. So they want to install this computer program onto your computer so they get you to give them remote access to your computer. And they install that software and it's going to steal all of your personal information and then charge you 400 bucks for it. Life sucks and I don't like it. I fell for one of those scams once actually. I was a senior in college when I did that. Uh, I was booked for a comedy show back in January. Uh, this guy that had never seen me perform, he had been here during Local Fest, never saw me perform, but we talked a little bit, and uh, I told him I'd do clean comedy. He, he said that he was a clean comedian, he had a clean show in Germantown, he wanted me to go and perform for him 10 minutes for this show. And I was like, sure, I'll do it. And then six hours later, he texted me back and he said, hey, it was a misunderstanding, I didn't have a spot to give you. So I was unbooked for that show within six hours. Life sucks and I don't like it. <laughs> The other day I left my phone charger in my living room instead of in my bedroom. And so my phone was at 37% when I woke up instead of 100. Say it with me. Life sucks and I don't like it. Nobody says it on the first try. Come on now. Y'all can do better than that. Let's try it again. All together. Ready? Life sucks and I don't like it. That's much better. That's so much better. I bought a carton of eggs from Walmart. 18 eggs. Got all the way home with it. Opened it up, 17 of them were broken. I sucks and I don't like it. Y'all are catching up quick, I like it. Oh, <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, uh, I forgot this material that I wrote. And I left the book over there. Life sucks and I don't like it. Last one. Uh, almost four years ago, I moved down to my parents' house and started living on my own here in Jonesboro. And uh, I had to do a bunch of research to figure out how much money I was going to have to bring in to support myself, you know, what kind of job I'd have to have, all that kind of stuff, right? Well, my research led me to bad news and worse news. The bad news is it is too expensive to live. The worst news is it's more expensive to die. My self! That's Pierre Jonesboro. Thank y'all so much. My name is Bernie Sport. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitter. I'll see you later. Give up for your couple of hosts. Alex in the garden.